we got a beautiful day out here. Really nice groomers, and look who I ran into. Oh, I've only seen him a couple times this whole season. He came to the second clinic we've ever had at Mount Hood. We're not doing them any, there anymore, but uh, he was, you know, pretty fresh, new at snowboarding. His girlfriend, now wife, was into snowboarding. He wanted to get better. And now what? Is it level three? Level three. Level yeah. three. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> level three instructor. He hasn't even been riding the uh, one of his the big Napton twins for a while, because they gotta do a bunch of stuff like on boxes and moguls. Is that why? Yeah. I've it's just riding... e easier to ride smaller <laughs> boards for that stuff. I've been yeah. I think for bumps and uh, for other stuff, uh, twisting is really the key. But for the donek like um, tilt and just going being stable is the key. So it's much stiffer. Than what I like to for the bumps, but it's perfect for the for the carving. Yeah. And I don't even ride bumps; it's a, a brace on the knees. So I don't know why uh, why anyone gets too big of thrills off that. But I've learned a lot by riding bumps over the years. But Sky, it's only second day on or uh, second run on this in a long time. Let's make some turns. Do it up, brother. Style. Nice work, Sky. If you want to book Sky for lessons here at Breckenridge, info in the description. you look in the viewfinder and just get, I'll, I'll start off mellow here and you just kind of frame it.
I just found a glove on the run. Look at this pile of junk. Just falling apart at the seams. I've had way too many gloves like this. Put that up there just in case someone wants it back. But that's why I need base gloves. Durable as heck. No fraying of the fingers. Feels good on the hands. Extra warm. Base gloves for the win. just see Dakota out here. Carving's kind of like riding a bicycle. He didn't even snowboard last year. Not once. Can you still carve Dakota? A little bit. He's on his second Napton twin, moved up in specs after getting uh, better and better on the original starter specs of like 8.7 radius. Is that uh, right? Yeah. And then now what are you on? Uh, this is, uh, I think, a 13. 13 meter radius. I like it. You know, you go too big on it, and it's going to be difficult to tame those lines because it's like big wave surfing. It's an expansion of the circles that we're gliding on. So uh, don't scale up to like 16 meter unless you know you're ready for it. Know you want your turns lasting longer, and you know that you're cranking high edge angles. Let's make some turns, Dakota. Take advantage of your knowledge in this snowboarding stuff. That's good. Kick out a tip for beginner carving. Yeah. Um, if you just start working on your carb turns, um, and the, if you had trouble engaging your carving, um, here's a mental model that I found useful for many people. When doing a carved turns, do not think of turning. Do not involve any pivot in your turn. Focus only on your tilt. Tilt the board and pretend you're going down a straight line. Let the board do the turning, do the arc, and then you will find more success. I love it, Sky, because yeah, that's what we do. We just tilt it and allow it. But we do, we do know these C-type shapes that we're hitting. But when you try to force that C-shape, Turns into a pivot, turns into a skid, friction, excess motion. So de demonstrate a couple of those pivots first, just so the viewers can kind of understand. A pivot just being like, eh, it's, I don't know. They'll see. So you saw there, doesn't look like too much of a performance snowboarding with pivoting, but there are times and places. Icy conditions, steep conditions. If, you, if it's not snow that you feel like you can trust, pivot turns are great. Yep. <laughs> but when we got really good snow and really good carving conditions, eh, no need for pivot turns there. But let's do some pivoting right here. Doubt you want to watch me do that all day. One of the nicer snow days of the season at Brett. I like Sky's tip there so much, I'm gonna put away the camera and work on that thought 
switch stance. Thank y'all for watching. Happy shredding and uh, hope to see you at Ski Cooper this Saturday. So, yep, I'll put the same info in the description if you're able to come check it out and join some carvers and demo some Donic Napton twins along some, with some other ones that will carve extremely nicely. Thank you guys. Thanks again. Happy shredding. Switch dance.